Well, good morning to you. Welcome to another episode of Rush Outdoors. Today, I'm out in the South Yorkshire moors and I'm heading my way up Fountain Fells or Fountains Fell. Seen a gap in the weather, seen that it was going to be nice. So I thought, why the hell not? It's only a two hour drive. Look at this. So that's where I'm heading up Fountain Fells. That's Penigent. There's an honesty box there for you to park, which I've put some money in. But I'm looking forward to this one. Oh, so hopefully, three new nut holes in the bag. And we'll see how we get on. So I'm just about to join the Pennine Way, which will take me up. You can see where the path, I don't know if you can see that, where it veers left, that's the Pennine Way. But I'm going to stick to the wall line, because that'll bring me out right on the summit of the first one at 668 metres. So there's not a lot of ascent here, to be fair. Yeah, looking forward to this one. I think I'm going to stay to the Pennine Way for a bit and then come back across on get along the wall at the top to the right rather than go straight up here. I've had the lurgy all week so. I don't want to push it too hard too soon and then have to give up. Right, let's keep going. Just met a nice chap. Sounded like he was from the northeast. Views opened up a bit. He had a uh, wild camp up at the top here by the wall. He said it rained all night. Well, it has forecast for the clag to lift, so let's hope we see a bit more of looking across there towards the southern lakes now, just coming into view. So quiet, that's the only person I've seen apart from a father whizzing around on a little uh, jeep type thing. Right, let's get up there. Bit of an interesting little rock formation. There's a quarry over there. Pen again, still in the cloud. Burke House Moor, I think it's called. Oh. Summit just on in that area. I've done that before. Uh, I need to do Buckden Pike, which is the other side of that. So I'll be back to do them. But I'm enjoying this. It's nifty. Quiet as well. Oh. Bit out of breath coming up there. But I plan to keep coming out now. I'm going to try and get out every week, be it a day walk like today, or, or a wild camp or bothy stay over. But I want to try and keep working my way through these knot holes. Oh, you can feel that icy wind now. So I'm not far off the wall and the gate and the turning. It is a short ascent up to this one, but steady. Oh. Come on, cloud lift. So I'm at the wall, across the wall, and the summit is literally just there. 
Oh, it's great feeling the sun on your face. Oh, even in the cold weather. Right. Oh, fountains fell. Oh. And that wasn't bad at all. At all. Right. Follow this wall now to the summit. Bring it on. Must be the entrance to one of the old mines I've heard and read about. Like typical rush outdoors fashion. Bloody clag rolls in before I top out. Let's have a look at this so have a little mooch. Yeah, I think it's a mine shaft. I could be wrong. If anybody knows. There might be a sheep enclosure. I don't know. Looks about the right size for sheep, maybe. A bit too small for a human, but stranger things have happened. Right, let's get back on track so I can get to that summit. Is there. So quiet up here. All you can hear is the grouse. Sounds like they're talking from a distance. Right. It's a bit squidgy. The frost last night's helped harden it a bit, but it's not too bad. I was warned it was could possibly be boggy as hell. But hey ho, got my new boots, got my gaiters. What more do I want? Oh, maybe a clear summit will do. That'd be nice. Well, here we are, folks. Fountains fell north top. 668 meters. One down, two to go. So the next top is the south peak at 662 meters. I just follow this wall and I should be able to see a lake soon as well. Oh. Yeah, I just need this clag to lift for me. Started out okay. I mean, I'm hidden from any wind, as you can tell, there's not a breath of it. Oh, that's interesting. An old building. An old settlement, I'm guessing. Somewhere for the farmers to take refuge. And the weather turns. Cracking places around here to do a wild camp, not that much. Right, so let's get her a bearing. So, yeah, somewhere to the left of me should be a lake, the Fountains Fell Lake. Can't see bugger all, probably down to about 100 meters visibility at the minute, just with this bit of mist or cloud that's rolled in. But, uh, I'm not far off. The summit, probably about 10, 10 minutes or so, and to the second summit, and then head back up a little bit on the Pennine Way till I need to turn heading over to the other side. Enjoying this, so really am. Here we are 
fountains fell south top 662 meters how much of a summit how the hell do I get across that there that looks like a bit of a bog doesn't it right let's try there we go Happy days, another one done and dusted. 662. Nice cold. Hopefully this sun will come out and stay out now. Just there. Please come out. <laughs> Now the way I want to go is that way, otherwise I've got to follow the wall and then pick the path up but it doesn't look like there's any paths here and I don't want to chance my arm and get stuck somewhere so I might just follow the wall to the Pennine Way, pick that up makes the walk a bit longer but doesn't matter don't want to be turning my ankles on anything up here Sticking to the original plan, found a bit of a track or where uh, people have walked and possibly a quad bike track as well, heading in the direction I want to go. And I should hopefully get to see the lake, which again is just down there somewhere. We will see. We will see. Another bit of a ruin there. Sun's coming out a bit for me. So I, the north top's up there. Uh, up there. A lake somewhere. Down there. Let's hope it burns away, because look. Woo woo! It's the sunshine! There it is! The lake! Lovely! Or tarn. I know the tarn's here in England. It's a nice one. I bet there's some decent camping spots around it. Be a good one for the summer. Happy days. At least I've seen a bit of it. <laughs> I don't think the camera does this justice from the view I can see. Well, the clouds lifted a bit and I'm heading up towards that area. Down Brook Fell. I need to go and do that one. Um, like I say, I should be picking the uh, Pennine Way path back up very shortly. It's a bit spongy underneath. Oh, it's bloody lovely. There you are, I can see back up to the first summit now. And there, just up there. It's a shame I couldn't see from the top. And I was up there. Oh, hey ho. Not sure what these are. Dotted around. If anybody knows, hit me up in the comments. Oh, go watch me footing. Right. I can see the wall I need to pick back up. Just over there. Alright, just need to get on the Pennine Way of Touch now. It should be here somewhere. Beautiful. Well, I'm back on the Pennine Way and the views have opened up a bit. And fair play, Yorkshire Dales. You've impressed me. Really have impressed me so far. Beautiful. Look at that. Right. So 
So I need to pick up the wall back at the top here, follow it along. I'm not going to cut across through all the bog. I haven't got a clue what I'm walking through. It probably is a quicker route, but I'd rather just follow the walls, to be honest. At least I know what I'm you know, following then. And then I'll come back down to the valley the other side where I come up. For that, fair play. Really is lovely. So I'm back at the wall. There's the first summit just there. And now Penagant, you can see the top of that. Wonder how busy it is there today. So we're not too far from the summit now, but you gotta keep an eye on your ankles, man. Some right ankle turners on this path, if you can call it a path. Better than walking on that side by the looks of it, like. But, uh, you do have to be careful. There is a track that veers off and goes up there. There's a way. Uh, um, the veers off up there. That's a different town to the one I've seen before, because that town's over there. I don't know how that one, little one is. Anyway, um, yeah, just follow this wall. And uh, I need to climb it at some point to get to the other side for the summit. Like I say, just trying to mind where my feet go at the moment. But still enjoying it. And apart from that guy I've seen coming off the top as I was coming up, he'd been wild camping. Um, I haven't seen a single person. Complete solitude. Just me, myself and I. Oh, just give me that bit of a bounce in my step again now. It's from about October, the weather's been really crappy. I know I've got some bothy videos in, but I haven't done much hiking and mountain bagging. And I think I've been making excuses really, using the weather as an excuse. But, no more, no more at all, just get out, get them done, and you feel so much better when you are out, days, whew. Final one of the day, Dan Brook fell, 624 metres, three summits, Three bloody cloud inversions. Honestly. Oh. Not that I doubt there's much to see because of where we are. But I still want to see a bit. Right, let's try and get across this bit of bog. <laughs> oh, it is solid. Fish. <laughs> oh, it's been some bloody erosion. Right. I am touching it. There you go. Well worth the journey out. Definitely. Two hour drive. Couple of hours walking up to now. Probably about an hour back to the car. Happy days. Well worth it. Whew, three new ones in the bag as well. Bring it on. Whoop whoop. <laughs> You can tell I'm moving off the summit. 
that's coming out right so back down to this junction in the wall over the fence through the gate straight to the left of the gate uh, so left to the wall head down so far and then start veering left back towards the car this has been a corking walk fair dues like I say get out there I've not seen a soul all day but it's been good for the body and good for the mind you've just got to get out there Woo! buzzing absolutely buzzing <sighs> look at that shiny thing behind me it's like it waits for me to get off the summit and then shows its bloody head bah! bloody sun and then it makes the grass and the colours look all pretty I'm gonna right Ooh. over here I need to go to the left of the wall there we go again pen again I've got to go all the way down that way a couple of miles I think I veer left something like there there's a track I believe or I could just go straight down to the road but I'll weigh it up when I get there look at that now oh so Burke's fell over here somewhere I've done that one with Marky Poo and Rodders I need to do Buckton Pike which is the other side look at that though beautiful Bloody typical, isn't it? Just typical. I finish and the bloody clouds all lift. Bloody typical. The noisy buggers and grouse and bloody pheasants. I can see Burke's fell now up that way. Oh. <laughs> Nifty. So I'm back on this decent track now. This shall take me all the way back to the car, more or less. Look at that now. Cracking views. Typical though. But, as I've said, I think I've enjoyed myself today it's been a really really good walk it's been fun it hasn't been too tough still a little adventurous but uh three new nut holes in the bag get in bring it on i start smashing these bad boys out in yorkshire now oh. there's fountains fell Six six eight meters coming into view now. Lovely. Looking forward to navigate. Easy enough. Oh. These Adidas Terex boots. So much better on wet rock than bloody the scarpers I have. Oh. Definitely. Oh. Clover Hill. So I'm not far from the car now, but you can see the route where I started on this morning, heading up the Pennine Way, up to Fountains Fell, and I'm back on the road now. There's 
Going again there to me right still. Beautiful day now. Beautiful. I know it's if butts and maybes, but if I'd have done that in reverse, I'd be coming off that now with all the views looking over. Never mind. Plenty of others to do in the area. Looks busy up the top of Penagent. Fair few people up there now. There's a few more cars parked down the road here as well. <sighs> Where I am. Well, peeps, thanks for joining me on another adventure. Whew. I'm not sure where the next one's going to be. I'm just going to pick it at a drop of a hat. Weather dependent, etc. But it's been a hell of an adventure. Cracking one today. Awesome walk. Weather's been okay. It's beautiful now. And I just want to thank you all again for all the support so far. Get yourselves out, guys. Everybody, get yourselves out. Whether it be a low-level walk or anything. Beats being stuck in the house. It's much better getting out. Breathing that fresh air. Getting that winter sun on your face. It just makes you feel so much better. Right, I'm signing out. Don't forget, if you like the videos, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. And you know the drill now. If you want to be notified when any new content drops, tap that notification bell. See you on the next one, guys. Peace out. Yeah.